We're here at the Iowa City World Cup, the first round of the UCI Cyclocross World Cup here in Iowa City in the USA. And I have yesterday's champ, Magalie Rochette. Thank you so much. Thank you, thanks for having me. Yes, and how does it feel to have won your first World Cup? It feels a little bit incredible. <laughs> Although I've been dreaming of this and I've, I was really believing it could happen, now that it actually happened, I, I can't believe it happened. So it's a little bit crazy, but uh, all, uh, very positively overwhelmed. I can, uh, I can imagine. What a fantastic! You have a very, you're on a very short list of riders that have won a World Cup from the from North America. Yeah, it's so, it's cool. Congratulations! This is your specialized S Works. Tell us a little bit about this bike. Well, I think the paint job of this bike looks like a sunset, and for this reason, I called the bike the Sunset Bike, and I actually made a little poem for you. Oh well, I would love and to And it goes that it goes like this: When the sun sets. Can you ask yourself, did I make the most out of this day? And that's where the sticker here on the top tube, make it count, that's where it comes into play. I can always ask myself, did I make it count today? And I think yesterday you did make it count. I did, yes. <laughs> High five to you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And good luck today. Thank you. Magali is using SRAM's all new AXS Red Grupo and has opted to take her power data with her. Yesterday's numbers are probably pretty high up. She's using the Quark power meter with a 38 tooth ring on it. She has 170 cranks on there and she's running a 1033 rear cassette. It's also running SRAM's AXS rear derailleur with the fluid clutch, meaning that anytime she's riding off-road, all of those bumps and undulating things that you see in cyclocross, that chain's not coming off. Magli has opted for Expedo CXR Pro pedals using a titanium spindle. They're apparently 50 grams lighter than the XTR Shimano pedals that we've seen on other riders' bikes this weekend. The crux up top is super clean. You don't see any bolts or any binders to be able to hold this seat post in place because it's completely integrated into the frame. They use a clever little bolt that goes through the frame and it must pinch the seat post here inside and then they've got a nice little cover that goes right over it as well. They're using a Zip Service Course SL seat post, 27.2 size. They've also got the specialized S-Works body geometry saddle. This is the Mimic model and it is completely made of carbon fiber, the rails and a carbon fiber shell. So moving up to the front end of the bike, the cockpit is all by Zip. She's using the Zip SL Speed carbon fiber stem. She's also got the Zip SL80 bar, which is an aluminum bar made by Zip. She has a K-edge mount so she can take that data from her Quark power meter and she can see what's up top. And then she's also running Lizard Skin's DSP bar tape. This bar tape apparently, we've been told, comes in two different thicknesses, 1.8 millimeters and 3.2. Magalie's opted for the 3.2 thickness for these cyclocross courses, so she's got a little bit more padding on those bars. This bike has Roval CLX 50 tubular wheels with the white decals. The white decals indicate that the rider is sponsored, something that I didn't know. It also has Challenge Baby Limus 33s on it, which for today's conditions, having rained a lot last night, is gonna be a really good choice. This bike has SRAM red brakes and it has a 160 front rotor and a 140 rear rotor. I presume that's to get a little bit more modulation and a little bit more braking power up front when she really needs it. It's also using center lock technology to be able to keep the rotors attached to the hubs. Okay, we're gonna get some measurements. My favorite, which is the center of the stem to the tip of the saddle, is 53.5. Up front, she's running a 40 centimeter bar with a 110 stem. It is a, looks to be a 49 frame set. And the specialized Mimic saddle looks to be a 155. It's time for a weight. Let's see what she comes in at. This 16 pounds on the dot. If you guys liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below, let us know what you think. And if you wanna see other bikes, check them out over here. And if you wanna to subscribe to GCN, please click right there.